While pregnancy should be filled with joy and excitement, unexpected news during pregnancy is more common than we talk about. Receiving this news can lead to anxiety, depressive thoughts, and stress. Many pregnant people wait days or weeks to be seen by a specialist, which can add to their worry. Even after talking with a specialist, uncertainty may exist for weeks or months. This episode will give you tools to manage the feelings and emotions that arise after receiving unexpected news in pregnancy. For those of you who are new here, I am Kendra, founder of Allay Life and a board-certified genetic counselor who specializes in prenatal care. I produce informational videos about prenatal genetic testing and how to navigate unexpected news in pregnancy. If you don't want to miss a future video, press the subscribe button now. This episode is created for any pregnant person or their partner who received unexpected news in pregnancy. This may include abnormal genetic test results, including from a screening test or CVS or amniocentesis. People who have received possible or confirmed abnormal prenatal ultrasound findings or fetal impairment. Some listeners may have received abnormal ultrasound findings from their local OB provider and are waiting for an appointment with a specialist. Some may have received abnormal screening results and are waiting on results from a CVS or amniocentesis. Other listeners may have received a genetic diagnosis in their baby. And yet some may have met with a specialist and learned that their pregnancy is at an increased risk for miscarriage or stillbirth, which can be incredibly painful to hear. In many cases, uncertainty may be present for weeks or even months in a pregnancy. No matter what unexpected news you've received, your mind may be racing ahead to countless possibilities. Quieting your mind can be an enormous challenge. The strategies discussed in this episode can be used immediately to help you gain control of your racing mind. So let's talk about tools to get you through the days ahead in the face of uncertainty. First, it's important and very hard, but to be vulnerable. So don't be afraid of your thoughts. When you notice them arising, acknowledge them. Write down your thoughts or talk to your partner or another trusted person. Some important questions to ask yourself include, what are you most afraid will happen with your pregnancy? What are you hoping will happen with your pregnancy? Consider sharing this information with your OB provider. Over the past 10 years, I have worked with many families who share fears and worries that a healthcare provider can put to rest because not all of our thoughts are based in reality or true. Acknowledge that your worries and fears are normal. Don't beat yourself up for the thoughts that you have. Make sure to take care of yourself physically and mentally, which will have a positive effect on your baby. It's also important to remember to bond with your baby. We will discuss ideas for bonding later in this episode. If you've received an unexpected ultrasound finding or genetic test result, it's common to want to do something to help your baby or to fix the issue. First, recognize that you feel this way because you are a responsible person. It is a normal protective role for an expectant parent. Taking care of yourself is the most important step you can take. This looks different for every person, but may include eating balanced meals and taking a prenatal vitamin every day, keeping physically active. This may simply mean making time for a daily walk. Speak with your OB provider about what other activities are safe in pregnancy. Seeking support. This may be from your spirituality or faith, from family, from friends, or even a counselor. Journaling to release your feelings and emotions. Practicing meditation or mindfulness. Setting aside time for important relationships in your life, whether this be with a partner, friends, family, or even a pet. Take time to consider who you can lean on for support in your life. Give yourself permission to ask for what you need from your friends, family, and or partner. You might need space to share your worries with a good listener. Maybe you need prayers or simply a hug or a shoulder to cry on. Keep in mind that you can control who and what you share with others. Some people find it helpful to share details of their situation with those they trust, while others may prefer to keep this news private until further information is learned about their pregnancy. Receiving unexpected news can impact how you and your partner bond with your baby. There may be uncertainty about the remainder of the pregnancy or your baby's prognosis. The joy and anticipation of growing your family may feel halted. The future can seem overwhelming to think about, yet your mind may wander to countless possibilities. Connecting with your baby in the present moment can help you cope during this time. There are many different ways you can connect with your baby. 
Think about if you had a favorite book as a child. Consider reading this book to your baby or find a book in your home. Sing songs and or play music you enjoy. Dance alone or with your partner. If you love nature, go outside and tell your baby what you see and hear. Record your baby's heartbeat. Heartbeat recorders can be purchased through various online websites. Do you enjoy crafts? Consider a craft project related to your baby, perhaps a memory book to document your pregnancy. Watch a movie you enjoyed as a child with your baby. Talk and or write a letter to your baby. This could include your favorite things, the meaning behind your baby's name if you've chosen one, dreams you have for your baby, or anything else you may want to share with them. Create a memory box to place items of importance. This may be ultrasound pictures, pictures you take while pregnant, letters to your baby, or other items of significance to you. If you have other children, consider involving them in some of these activities. You may find yourself searching the internet for similar stories. For some people, collecting information can feel empowering and may reduce some of the feelings of loss of control. Remember, each person's pregnancy is unique. Reading other people's stories and experiences can be helpful, but they can also cause stress and worry. No two pregnancy experiences are exactly the same. Give yourself permission to stop searching online if you find yourself overwhelmed. And remember, it takes courage to show up to another ultrasound or medical appointment after receiving unexpected news during pregnancy. It is normal to feel scared, fearful, hopeful, all at the same time. Acknowledge the feelings within and know that with time, more certainty will come. For one-on-one -on -one support during this time, please visit alay-life.com. With love and light, see you next time. <laughs>